up everybody we just got to Robinsonville look at that flag she's camera shy Okay, so we just left Lynn's place. Real good, real good. Real bacon. It was a real burger, I was full. What'd you think? You thought it was good? Nod your head. Do something. But it was real good, so. Now we're gonna go to Ingles and pick up something to cook for dinner, and then we're gonna be on our way to the cabin. This is like a really old Ingles, like the first one. Wow. Okay, you guys, so as you saw, we had to drive down like a gravel road that just went back in the woods. We were, what was that? It was like three miles, but it took us over 20 minutes to get through here because we just had to go so slow because it was so off-roady. Um, and this is it. And we come over here. I don't know if you can see it. It's called The Junction. It's like a little tiny home. And we walk over here. I'll give you a whole tour and everything. But there's a creek down there. So let me go find the keys and then I'll give you guys a tour. Okay. So we found the key. You found the key? She found the key. Okay, let's go inside, okay? 
Go inside, lead the way. You want me to go first? I'll go first. Don't mind our shoes, that has nothing to do with it. It's already magically unlocked. So it's like actually a tiny home. So you got the bedroom, like a really decently sized bedroom. Then you got a full kitchen, a full bathroom, dining room, a whole living room, and a TV. Oh, they do got it. Oh, they got movies too. Cool. And then you also have a humongous back porch with a grill. We're definitely going to be grilling later. Oh, and you have a remote control for your AC. Wow. What are you doing in there? Let's go upstairs. This is very small. I'm a very wide man. Let's see if we can, oh God, squeeze in here. So it's like a it's like a whole another bedroom. That is so cool. Wow. back down here a little tight a little tight so we're gonna get situated and then I'm gonna come back to when we are cooking some dinner all right see you then Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> we were supposed to cook some steaks, but we were so tired from the ride up here that we just went to bed. So it's, uh, as you can see, it's 5.30 in the morning. And we're eating baked potatoes. Because <laughs> to go into town in the dark of night through these gravel woods, nah. So we're gonna wait for the sun to come up, then we're gonna go back into town. So, see y'all later. Okay, you guys, so we're actually on the way to the Tell the Dragon. I had no idea that uh, Robbinsville was so close to it. It's just a, about like a 20 minute highway drive. And we came across this dam. It's massive. I don't think the camera does it justice. I've never, I've never really seen a dam this big. This is big. Wow. Bang. She's up there taking pictures. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. The water's not high enough. Oh, is that why it's not flowing over? Let's go up to the better view. Oh, okay. So it's like just a little bit, a little bit below. That's why it's not flowing over. 
Of course, you know they can release those uh, gates or whatever you want to call them. Because it's starting to rain right now. Because we got that uh, hurricane coming in. This is crazy. They got like barbed wire and everything. Just massive. And it looks so old. I'd love to know like when they built this and everything. Let's see if we can go to the peephole over here. <clears throat> this looks so old. Let's see. I can really zoom in with this camera. I mean, he's just in the middle of nowhere. That's crazy. You just like, this ain't doing it justice how like, we're just surrounded by mountains and you just got a random dam here. I love it. Awesome. We only got a couple more miles Oh, butterfly. We only got a couple more miles to go. We got to keep going down this road. And then I think we cross into Tennessee and then the actual Tell the Dragon starts. You can see the Nissan. <laughs> what a great car. Ugh. This is awesome. It's just massive. I should have... Huh? Should have brought my drone, but I don't know if it would be legal for me to fly it in over this. Oh, you can hear the water coming now because of the rain. Oh, yeah. Starting to come out. Yep, starting to flow out now. And like five minutes ago, it was dry as a bone. And then with this little bit of rain, and it's going to start flowing down. You see that huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Let me zoom in. Ah, uh, dang it, fence. There ain't no way this is abandoned. Because, you know, there's the power plant right there. They're, they're draining all the water to spin the turbines. I guess that's how they get power to Robinson, Robbinsville. Man, I wish we could walk on the dam. That'd be so sweet. But probably go to prison. But you can, you can hear the turbines whining. Awesome, man. I love it. You can tell they used to have something else here because all the old concrete. Then they built all this here. This is sick. Yeah, this with this hurricane coming in, this is gonna be flowing good. Awesome. So uh we'll update you when we get closer to the Tell the Dragon, and then I'll give you short videos because I don't have a suction cup. I would suction cup it to the Nissan, but I don't have a suction cup. That'd be some good footage. But plenty, plenty of people got videos on the Tell the Dragon. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, everybody. This is, I believe, the start of the Tell of the Dragon. And she got a dragon. So... I'll keep you guys up to date on the road. So we're halfway through on the Tell the Dragon and we just pulled over to see these views. Beautiful. You can see how curvy the road is. Hmm. Awesome. And we're doing it in a Nissan Rogue.
keep y'all up to date. So we are about eight and a half miles in the tail of a dragon, tail of the dragon, and come across another dam. Not as big as the first one, but good golly, look how high we are up. Once again, the camera doesn't do it justice. The water and everything. Big old power lines and then got another dam. Thought it was the same one as last time, but this one's different. Pretty cool. All kind of people driving through today, even though it's terribly cloudy. And then look who got a dragon. Nissan's doing good. This is awesome. Just keep on going. We'll keep y'all up to date. Okay, now we are at a, oh, there's a better sign. Wareloom Honey. They make their own honey and everything. Honey, baskets, jams, and eggs. And they also made a uh, back deck out of uh, bee boxes. That's real cool. Look how pretty these flowers are. Go get some honey. Uh, what time is it now? We better hurry up because they're about to close. Hello. Hurry Good, how you doing? Uh, maybe you help or any questions? Yes, ma'am. This was so good. It's so strong. We need some, we need some honey. So, um, these 
all hard seltzers or the different things? They're all meat, is what they are. Okay. I want honey, that's what I want. I got honey, 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 honey. Honey, honey, Back at the cabin and just got done flying the drone a little bit showing y'all the creek and surrounding mountains y'all see that in the footage and baby girl just cooked some steaks she's uh gonna have us eat outside i think they're still in there oh look at them so that's gonna be yummy and i think we're also having baked potatoes so, second day, this is our last night at this B&B, uh, &B, if you want to call it like that. Um, tomorrow, we're going to check out of here, then we're going to head to Chimney Rock, because we're staying at the uh, Manor, I believe, over there. If not, I'll update y'all, but it'll take us two hours from uh, Robbinsville to get to Chimney Rock, so I'll update you guys there, but... I'm going to get another battery for the drone, fly it around some more, get some more footage for you guys since it's doing well. I haven't flown it in like like half a year, uh, but it seems to be doing pretty well with these updates and my phone. So I'm going to fly it some more for you guys. See you later.
dinner is served. They look great. Thank you, baby. Trying to make me fat. Okay, so the cool part about this cabin is that you can sign your name anywhere on the back deck. So, that's what Princess is going to do. Pick a color and then sign anywhere. Pick somewhere, someone ain't gone yet. Yeah, that's fine. Just do both of our names. What? What do you mean put up on my name? Carolyn plus Matthew. And then you put the date we stayed. The 8th or the 7th? Find the 8th. And then, let me do it, baby. Here. If I can write. Yeah. So we're officially marked. Now we're going to go down to the river. This five is going to hit it. Wait for the camera for your life. You saw it. Tom. That's a lot of wood. Thanks, baby. God, we gotta get out of here, these flies. Ah. Okay. Okay, everybody, so that's our little adventure at the junction. Now we're on our way to Chimney Rock. Uh, where are we staying? Mm -hmm. The manor? Mm -hmm. Is it the manor? So we'll, we'll figure out once we get close. We have no signal, so we need to update everything once we get out, but what a wonderful time. in that cabin. We'll have to stay there again sometime, won't we? Mm -hmm. Do you have a good time? Okay, so now we just start our long trek back. It'll take us two hours from uh, Robbinsville to get to Chimney Rock, so I'll update y'all along the way, but first we're gonna go to McDonald's because somebody wants a caramel frappe. So, we'll see you guys later.